I'm here with Studio Sweat On Demand. We're here to talk about the burpee. Who am I? I Bethany. This is Bethany. Did you guys know she got taller? <laughs> I grew. Finally. I told her I didn't want to be a bohemian woman, and so she, because she, I'm only five eight, but she makes me look like I'm six one. I swear. You're so cute. Good things come in small packages. That's what Anyways, I'm here. back to talking about the burpee. Um, we've had a lot of people ask. Uh, what are the different variations of burpees? What's doing a burpee right? What's doing a burpee wrong? What are things to watch for? Mm -hmm. um, and I'm just gonna give you my opinion on the burpee. And uh, I think that the burpee can be used for strength, it can be used for conditioning, and it can be used for a combination of both. Yep. Um, back in the day, if you guys remember in high school, uh, uh, you heard the word squat thrust, all right? So, mm. not squat jump, but squat thrust. The squat thrust is, can, I, can I move this? A squat thrust is just basically, a push up and then get back up on your feet. Or sorry, not a push up. It's just a plank position back into a standing position. So you're here and stand. So that's a squat thrust, okay? Mm -hmm. now, can I just tell you, I have gotten so sore doing those. Squat thrust? Yes. Awesome core training yes. and good conditioning as well. Um, the burpee stems from the squat thrust, right? So uh, a burpee with a push up is another option. And then there's just the straight up burpee, which is used for more conditioning. And I also kind of call it the CrossFit burpee because it's basically you lay it out on your stomach and then you bring it back up as fast as you can. Yeah, it's one movement. It, it's one swift, solid sweeping movement that we'll show you guys in a minute. But um, really, I think of a burpee, the traditional regular burpee, as just a plank combined with a squat jump. Mm -hmm. That's the traditional burpee. So when I say regular burpee, so I don't include the word with push up in it, that means it's going to be down, out, in, jump as high as you can, Good. okay? You can also add a little bit more of a squat element to that, to where you're here, you come up and your squat jump as high as you can. So to me, in my terminology, and what's widely used, that's a regular burpee. Now, you add the push up element to it, you, because let's say that I'm more focused on strength, or let's say that I have jacked up shoulders. Mm -hmm. Either of those two things, if you want to add the push up to it, the focus needs to be on engaging your core and getting your body set before you drop your chest to the floor and come up out of it. So, burpee with a push up. You want me to demo or you want to? Oh, I don't care. I'll do it. You, do, you can do the next one. Okay. Okay. So, again, if you have bad shoulders, you're not going to want to do the option no. Bethany's going to show you in just a minute because it's a little bit hard on the shoulders because of the explosive manner. So, burpee with a push up. Take it down, take it out. Nice little push up. Jump in, jump up. Repeat. Okay? And the idea if you want to do strength and conditioning there is to do those as quickly as you can without mm -hmm. compromising your form. Okay? All right. Now let's talk about the um, Conditioning, I'm gonna call it the conditioning burpee. Okay. And the idea with that is to move as quickly as yeah. you can to your from your belly to your feet. You wanna do it? Sure. Let's do it. Okay. okay. All right, so she is going to, one of the, the, the thing that you have to really think about is as you're going down into that plank position, you're dropping down in one swift movement onto your belly and then coming back up. So yeah. let's see it. It's kind of hard. And they actually said they wanted you to start further down with your hands you do. out. You do, start, you start so you're down out here. Position. Good. Belly hits the floor. Yeah. What did you forget to do? Well, I didn't do my jump that time. Why? Well, they said you could either do it with the jump or without the no, jump. No, a burpee is not a burpee without a jump. All right, so it's down here. Nice, go again, as fast as ah! you can. So that's the idea, is to get as many of those out as fast as you can. That's a conditioning burpee. So you might do 30 seconds of those on to 60 seconds of rest. Oh, I see stars. Yeah, so that's, that's a conditioning fun. style burpee. Yes. Now you can see, I mean, think about it. If I have bad shoulders, am I going to want to go into so that? not good, no. no. No, into that quick downward yeah. motion. Actually where injuries come is on that up motion from when yes. you're here in this position and then you're trying to come up as fast as you can. You can see why that would be really tough uh, and hard on the shoulders yeah. there. So, um, um, can I add something? You can add something. I also saw this one guy, because I did some research on this, obviously. Good job. But he, mm -hmm. um, he said if you wanted to get more of a strength move into it with your hips and your glutes, yeah. to keep your hands out wider so that you're coming down more into the squat. I love it. And then it's out, and then it's up, and then with a, more of a squat. So you squeeze on your way up. So let's say that I want the primary focus to be strength, but I want to get the cardio conditioning as well. Any thoughts on how you would do it? Hmm. I don't know, because I think I do more of a conditioning style burpee. burpee. Yeah. If I wanted to put the two together, based on what you just said, I would definitely add the push-up, yes. but I would make it the um, burpee where I got in my solid position for the push-up went down. So maybe I would do yeah. this, right? Maybe I would do this, right? Because we just talked about that. Take it down, a little wider stance, yep. set for my push-up, 
in in my squat, yeah. bring it up. Yeah. So I'm setting right there, push up, in, up. I love it. And that is perfect form and you're not like, the, you don't have the, the hardcore pounding on the shoulders and the right. knees. You're hitting every point that you need to squeeze. Yep. And so there you get your strength and your cardio all in one. And I think that's kind of the best. So if you're just best looking, of both worlds, I blend it so all too. together. That's my favorite. Yeah. Putting that's all my that favorite together. too. Regular burpee does not have a push up in my opinion. No. Stems from the squat thrust. Want to do it for conditioning only and you've got good upper body, you can do the one that De Bethany demonstrated. If you want to add strength and body, um, strength and cardio conditioning together, then you can do the one that I just showed you, yeah. right? Just slow it down a little bit so that you hit every solid aspect of it. I did one and my heart rate's up. So I know, right? you can focus on your form and still get the yeah. cardio element in there. All right, you guys, that's it. You know where we do a lot of burpees? Studio Sled On Demand.